So there are two weeks to go until the IGCSE A-level or IB exams. And the biggest mistake that students make is... Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video, giving you the advice that you need to hear in those last two weeks before your IGCSE A-level or IB exams. And that is the following. A lot of students think they can cover the entire course, the whole IGCSE, the whole A-level course, in this two weeks. At this stage, that is simply bad advice. What you need to focus on, and this is the most important part here, is targeted revision. Now, there may be topics that your teacher has covered with you that you're really not sure about. Say, if you're doing the A-level S1, your normal distribution, if you've got IGCSE maths, you've got your differentiation, it is perfectly fine to target those very difficult topics. Now, to help you with that, down below, I've actually got my IGCSE Math Study Guide. That's going to help you a lot, be able to find the videos you need to target for those particular topics. You need that laser focus to make sure you're focusing on very specific topics that you have reviewed and have found that as a topic of weakness. Trying to cover everything is a bad strategy. You need to focus those specific topics. Once you have got those topics under your belt and you focused on that, now it's the time to prove it. This is where you should be doing yearly past papers. At this last moment before the exams appear in just two weeks' time, you need to be doing yearly past papers. Annual priority, of course, should be the most recent papers from 2023 and 2022. If you take a slightly older paper, maybe 2019, 2018, one of the problems is Cambridge do change the course quite frequently. And if they do that, you might find a topic. I've never seen this from my teacher before. Matrices come to mind. I had a comment down below. And one of my videos where they said, oh, do I have to worry about matrices? No, it's been taken off the IGCSE 0580 course. So by doing the most recent papers, you have the most very up-to-date kind of papers with the topics that are more likely to come up. Now, if you want to know exactly which topics will come up on your IGCSE or A-level exams, check out the videos over here because they go through the predictions for May 2024.